Well, just up there in front of me is the good old Dublin area rapid transport. In two simple words, the dart. Since its inception in 1984, October 84 was when it was inaugurated by Gareth Fitzgerald, twice as many people are now travelling by dart as used to travel on pre-dart Dublin trains. Now, I'm a Dublin commuter myself, but I'm more used to the sort of bike, bus, car routes of the congested roads. And besides the more obvious reasons as to why the dart is such a good way to travel, the one time, I, at least the one thing I find when I do travel by dart is that it sort of reminds me that I'm in some sort of a European city on a holiday and you sort of see the city that you think you know very well in a much different light and you see back gardens and things like that even. Anyway, let's just take a look and see exactly now how the dart works. Well, prior to 1984, the suburban signal system was controlled by 16 conventional type signal cabins, which were situated along the route. Today, all the signal cabins have been closed. The whole signal system is being monitored here from Conway Station. Well, what do you think are the main advantages of a computer-based signalling system? Well, for a start, a train entering the system, the trainman enters once it's completed its journey, it's under the monitor of the signalman here the whole time. Every progress the train made is all good monitoring. And, like, how, how much does that differ from before? Is it just because it's mainly that much easier and that much safer? It's far safer. Before, we never had what's known as automatic train protection. This new system now is automatic train protection. The train cannot have a signal of danger without having to get the authority of the signalman here. Mm. Even if he gets the authority of the signalman due to a fault of the signal, the speed that train can travel at is determined whether the driver likes or not. Nine miles an hour is all an electric train can travel if he's authorised to pass a signal of danger. But the first time, as he's in cab signalling, we'll give him the next green signal. Oh, yeah. And what about mistakes that are made then along the way? I mean, does the computer correct mistakes, say? The computer will not allow you to make mistakes. If a section is not clear for the train, the computer will not allow the signals to clear into that section. So even the signal man was foolish enough to ask for a signal to clear if there's a train already in the section. The computer will not allow that signal to clear. Tony, you used to be sort of in the manual, the box thing, uh, years ago, and now you're in control of the whole thing here with these screens in front of you. Is it much of a difference? Oh, it is a big difference, yeah. And, like, was there a lot of training involved? There was. We had a 14 weeks course training for this, like. And do you find that, like, the responsibility of being able to sit there and talk to me while you're supposed to be doing that as well? Well, it is a safe system, like, there's nothing can happen to like, you. Well, could, could you take us through a bit of it then? Just take one of the screens there and show us what we have. Yeah, where would you like to go? One of these ones over here. Yeah. See the train here now on number six platform. It's on his way to Bray there at the coming from And home. which colour signifies the train is there? Well, the red is the train itself with the number on it. It's the identification for the train, like. So what kind of a train now is that? That's, That's just... an electric train. The E is for electric trains. Hello. And, and where's that going to now? He's going Hello. to Bray Station. And what is it that you have here with these screens specifically? Well, my duties here are to monitor these screens. So as the level crossing is clear when a train is approaching, you see. Now when the barrier goes down, I must make sure that the level crossing is clear before I press these buttons here to uh, clear the signals over there on the console for the train to pass through. Now, if for some reason that a car just got in here, I can go into manually and hold the barriers, freeze them to let the car through or back out. And what about, say, the difference between the way it was done then in terms of safety now as well? Oh, it's more safer now. But like, surely you must have one or two stories of some strange things that have happened when the gates go up, say. Yes, well, you get uh, the odd fella trying to beat the lights and then, then you get a fella leaving his bike again. At him. And what happens? I mean, does the bike go up in the air with the gate? The bike goes up in the air. Yes, it does. <laughs> and has, has anybody ever gone up in the air with the gate, like sitting on it or something? Well, last uh, Saturday week, there was a little boy here in Bray when the barrier went up. Apparently he caught his hands on top of the barrier, went up with the barrier. So uh, with the help of people at the level cross and then lowered the barrier down, he was taken off. There's much coordination between what you have to do here and what the other guys do just across the way here with the junctions. Or do you need to know okay. much about that? Not necessarily, not unless there's a problem at the cross, no, and like, you know. Okay. Mm. Sorry, if they have a problem over there, there they tell me, well, if a problem is here, he can't press his cross and clear button, so we get in touch with the driver and we're satisfied the cross and it's cleared that 
Do you find that it's much safer just to have sort of one person like yourself here at the whole thing at the controls as opposed to lots of people manually pulling old levers and things like that? Oh yeah, it's a far safer system. And you, better, like. and you would notice that you said, but do you ever miss the old way of doing it? Oh, certainly, yeah. Well, I could open a window and shower out the shunter if he was annoying <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> and you could open the window, you see the train going by, well, you see nothing here, like, okay, you know, right. only what's in front of you there. So do you think it's true what they say about computers, that it makes us all a little less human? I'd say so, yeah. But a lot safer. Yeah. All right.